preparing for some colder weather and a chance for some snow ahead of Thanksgiving that could impact travel. So a lot to talk about. Let's get straight to Storm Tracker 13 Chief Meteorologist Mary Matthews for more. Yeah, you know, it was nice to see uh, the uh, snow in the mountains just over this past weekend. We got just a little bit of light snow and um, you know, something we haven't seen in quite some time. Let's take you to the maps here and kind of show you what we're looking at because most of the country right now uh, is dealing with uh, quite a garden variety of temperatures uh, at the moment. You'll notice the eastern two thirds of the country uh, embedded in this trough of low pressure where temperatures are a good 14 degrees cooler in Nashville, Tennessee than they were over the last 24 hours, whereas we have warmed up surplus at about 12 degrees warmer than we were yesterday. And that is all due to this ridge of high pressure that's been in place uh, for today, allowing that compression at the surface and those clear skies. So we've had ample sunshine so far today. Uh, Notice that nice little uh, dome of high pressure giving us those mainly sunny skies. Now that's going to start to break down and shift southeast, allowing for two systems to come in. We have a nice little vigorous trough here across parts of Southern uh, California and uh, very cold temperatures across the Pacific Northwest. Uh, those waves will start to propagate parts of Southern Colorado by Wednesday. Uh, so ahead of it, before this system arrives, it's going to be warm and windy for tomorrow, so expect it to be eh, partly cloudy in the morning, but then by the afternoon, those southwest winds are really going to start to ramp up, and uh, we are going to have, unfortunately, a recipe for high fire danger. It's a clean sweep of the radar right now, so we'll have clear skies and calm winds tonight, but then as we move through tomorrow, that red flag warning kicks in, especially into the afternoon hours. Initially here, most of our precipitation is going to be well west of I-25 for some high elevation mountain snow for the Central Mountains, the San Juan, and even a little bit of valley rain. Those freezing levels initially are going to be pretty high. Then the system will start to materialize even more, especially as our disturbance gets closer, and we'll start to bring some precipitation to the southern Sangre de Cristos overnight Tuesday into early Wednesday morning and portions of the San Juans. But we really don't get that mix of rain and snow at lower terrain areas until Wednesday morning and Wednesday early afternoon. As of right now, that is how this system is looking to play out. A bit too warm with those temperature profiles to really yield any widespread lower terrain snow, uh, but we certainly expect some locations to have a little bit of light snow. Now, having said that, regardless of areas that get snow along I-25 in the eastern plains, our temperatures are going to be too warm leading up to the system, so the ground temperatures should keep us from any widespread travel impacts in the region, even here the day before Thanksgiving. As we move through Wednesday afternoon, does look like snow will start to materialize more across Los Animas County, areas along and south of Highway 50 for very light accumulations, and does the southern Sangre de Cristos, and then that system will start to clear out. The skies will gradually clear from north to south overnight Wednesday with Thursday and Thanksgiving Day, giving us a mix of sun and clouds. It's going to be a beautiful Thanksgiving Day, but it's certainly going to be a chilly one. Let me show you those temperatures for tomorrow. We're in the 50s and 60s. This is really going to be our last warm day before things cool down by Wednesday and Thursday. Warm and windy tomorrow, if you want to call it that, with a little bit of sunshine in the morning and a little bit more in the way of hazy skies by the afternoon hours. Temperatures in the 70s along the Arkansas River Valley will be in the 70s here along and south of Highway 50. Then you'll notice that front coming in where temperatures will dip into the 30s and 40s for highs on Wednesday. So Wednesday morning is going to be chilly. Wednesday afternoon is going to be a bit blustery and the chance for uh, some precipitation at lower terrain areas. And as of right now, it does not look like we'll have any widespread snow. Uh, areas that do get some light snow uh, should keep from any widespread travel impacts uh, concerning uh, those secondary roads, given how warm that ground is going to be leading up to that event. Now, overnight Wednesday into Thursday, Woodland Park, you're to get down close to about 10 to 11 degrees. So some of your surfaces and elevated surfaces, secondary roads could certainly be a bit slick early Thursday morning, something to watch. But temperatures down to the 40s and 50s for Pueblo uh, Wednesday and Thursday with a rain snow mix Wednesday morning and then Wednesday overnight starting to clear out. So as of right now, Thursday, the turkey trot, you know, whatever you have going on, uh, jogging outside with family, friends before you stuff your faces, you should be nice and sunny, but it is going to be chilly, folks. Uh, certainly very chilly by the morning time frame. It does look like our system starts to yield that precipitation the day before. Uh, having said that, 
Some travel delays can be expected via air travel just because the system will be targeting most of the Intermountain West. So if you're flying west or you have a aircraft arriving from the west, uh, it could be slightly delayed. May want to uh, keep an extra eye on that forecast uh, in terms of air travel, which, gosh, I mean, you have to pack your patience this time of year anyway, regardless, right? Oh, yeah. That's people he'll be traveling with. I know. Good advice, Mary. Thank you. As for traffic on the roads, let's take a peek at that from I-25 and the pedestrian bridge. Again, uh, traffic really spilling out of the downtown area, clogging things up. You will start to